Well, as you can see, we are in the water. We are herping a stream to try to find a crayfish snake. That is our bucket list snake while we're down here in Texas. And we have heard that at one point there was an established population where we're looking right now. So wish us luck and we will see how successful we are at herping in a river. Our plan is to go upstream so that if a snake jumps down into the water, it'll flow towards us and have a tough time swimming away. Well, we found our first herp on this trip and he's not very happy about us capturing him. Ed found this little spiny soft shell turtle. The soft shell turtles in general have a, obviously a very soft shell and this smooth aerodynamic shape allows them to hide their whole bodies underneath the sand. You often see these in rivers and streams just like where we found this little guy here. Look at his cute little nose! Hiding under the sand also allows them to keep their shell clean because the sand, as it brushes on their shell, rubs away bacteria and funguses and helps them shed. Now this guy is probably a baby that hatched within the last couple of months. They're about the size of a quarter when they first hatch, but they grow to a decent size. Males get to around eight inches in diameter and females grow to 20 to 22 inches in diameter. So like most turtle species, females get much larger so that they have the room to carry eggs when they're breeding. In Asia, there are actually some species of soft shell turtles that get up to six feet in diameter. Look at that cute little face. Oh my goodness, you're adorable. All right, here you go, little buddy. There he goes. Okay, there's a goose up here that we've named David, who is not very happy with us herping near his house. Uh-oh, there he is. David, David, those, those aren't even geese that you're protecting, those are ducks. Emily's trying to catch a turtle that's like right in here somewhere. And I think she missed. Oh my gosh, she got him! him. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> yes! All right. Oh, he's not happy with us either. Oh no, she's not. <laughs> wow. Guys, this is a Texas river cooter. This is an awesome catch. I We've been seeing a lot of turtles, but they didn't let us get close at all. So I'm kind of surprised we were able to catch one. These look very much like map turtles, you may have noticed. One of the identifying characteristics of this river cooter is its medial notch, or notch located in the middle of its beak. And adjacent to that notch are two little projections, or they look like tooth-like projections coming from its beak, which helps it capture its prey. They're also known for these whirl-like patterns on their sides with kind of darker centers. And finally, they have a serrated posterior or back end part of their shell. You can see all of these little points right here. <laughs> Notice this, she is covered in leeches. Let's help this girl out, remove these leeches. <laughs> I mean, these are gonna happen and they'll fall off yep. eventually. Well, they'll just sit out of the water long enough and the leeches will dry out. That's true, yeah. Like she was still wet, so she had just come out of the water. Yeah. See girl, it's a good thing that we caught you. This is an adult. They get a decent size. Females, of course, getting larger than males. And they feed primarily on invertebrates in the water. They will eat some fish, but their main diet consists of things like crayfish and snails, which we've been seeing a lot of in the water here. And I mean, they'll also eat some insects if they can catch them. Probably leeches too. Probably. They're not gonna turn down a free free leech meal. That's why the leeches are back here. Yeah. <laughs> so she can't reach them. Now, this one is definitely a female. If you look at her front claws, they're kind of like bear-like claws or shorter claws, and that indicates that this is a female. Males have much longer claws. And if we look at her tail, it's very, very short. A male would have a much longer tail. Should we go put you on the bigger basking spot? Yeah, let's go find okay. a good spot for you. Where are you thinking? I was just thinking that log over there. There was one on that one over there. We caught a turtle. We did. I was not expecting you to catch that turtle. Leave it be. Yep. She's kind of blended in there. Yeah, she is. Yay, Yay, River Cooter was caught. Sweet. Ah, oh, just go away, David. Leave... Yeah, leave us alone. You're fine. Okay, now it's Ed's turn to catch a turtle. Well, I'm trying to see if I can find him. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
that was easy. Oh, this one's a different one. It's not a river critter. Whoa, that was a tough one. Yeah, it was. Apparently turtles just <laughs> bloop, and then they sit there. I might have an idea what this guy is, but we'd have to see his head to verify. Okay, so what should we do? Yeah. I'm gonna put him here, and okay. we'll see if we can see his head. Keep going, a little further. He's no. like, no, I won't. There is an obvious clue on your head, but it's covered by your neck flap. Oh. Uh. Oh, I can, I'm starting to see it. Are you? Yep. Yes. You could barely see it, but it's there. You are totally right. Is it? Yep. Nice. There's a red ear on that turtle. That uh. is a red-eared slider in its natural habitat. <laughs> yeah, it's not an invasive like it is up by us. <laughs> These guys are released in Minnesota and Wisconsin, and they are non-native species, of course, but they are completely natural down in Texas. So it's really cool to see one where it's supposed to belong. David, calm down. You're... Oh, no, you don't. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's gonna come after you. <laughs> Oh, don't mess with David. There is a huge water snake right here on the tree. Really? Yes. Can I walk right by it? Yeah, he's just sitting here. I don't know if we're gonna catch him, but he's huge. There, I think there's only one. Oh, I see his head. You see him? Yeah. Okay, how do we, I'm just gonna set my phone down so that I have both hands. Okay. Get ready to be big. Ready? Yes. Yep. Three, two, one. Nice, got, got him. him. Yeah. There you go. Got him. Nice. Yes. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Get ready to be mussed on. Yep. And ah, and ow. Bit. And ah, ow. Ah. Oh. Wow. Oh, dude, you are awesome. Oh, smell that musk. Oh, he smells terrible. Oh, you smell amazing, dude. Oh. All right, okay, I'm gonna yeah. go back out a little bit. Wow. All right. There we go. Awesome. This is what we were looking for. This is for. what we were looking for. This, guys, is a diamondback water snake. And this, as you can see, is like a thicker bodied colubrid. They also have very heavily keeled scales. Oh, oh. oh dude. He's going to bite me again. You did the wrong thing there. Oh, you get to watch Emily get bit on camera. It's awesome. Ah, ha, ha, you tried. Okay. <laughs> like garter snakes, the water snake is a life bearing species. And they, of course, live near the water. Oftentimes, you'll find them actually chilling in branches above the water, like where we found this guy. If you manage to catch one of these, they are not very happy about it. And like garter snakes, they will musk all over you, if not try to bite you, too, as you can see what he did here. There we Me? go. I would never bite anybody. I am just a peaceful, friendly water snake. With my derpy looking face. And they um, eat fish, so the musk smells terrible. That's right. Yeah. Fish and frogs and yeah. all that. So it's terrible smelling musk. It is. He smells horrible right now. I wish we had smell vision so you yeah. could enjoy this with us. And they have a good sense of smell not only on land but underwater too. But on land to find amphibians they're able to pick up the scent of the mucousy membrane around frogs and that's how they're able to find them. So Emily wasn't paying attention and he got her again. Well he got tangled up and I tried to reposition him and now he's just... Well look you can see inside his mouth. Oh. That's cool you can see his teeth. Aww. Well, he's giving you a love kiss. Yeah, he's so friendly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, we really wanted to catch a water snake because they are very commonly mixed up with water moccasins or cottonmouths, whatever you want to call them. They go by a couple different names. But the water snake here is completely harmless, and they are often killed for no good reason. Really, it's never a good reason to kill a snake, but these are killed because they are believed to be a water moccasin. So, let me tell you some of the differences between these two species. The water snake has these very noticeable vertical bands on its upper and lower lips. It also is a diurnal species, so it has round pupils, whereas the water moccasin has vertically oriented pupils since it is nocturnal. And if you look at their eyes, they're more oriented towards the top of their head because, I mean, they're swimming in the water, and just like how an alligator's eyes are more situated towards the top of their head to peer out of the water when they're submerged, the water snake's eyes are there for a similar reason. 
and their heads are more round. A cottonmouth's head is much more triangular or arrow shaped. However, if a water snake feels threatened, it will flatten out. I know these flies are around me because this guy smells so bad. A water snake will flatten out its cheeks. That'll make himself look like a cottonmouth, but again, the water snake is harmless. Well, we've been kind of holding this guy for about 10 minutes, and as you can see, he has completely calmed down. Even for an aggressive snake at first, he is very handleable now, and I think it's because he's realized that if we were predators, oh. We would have heard him by now, although he's getting a little defensive. Yeah, he now. looks like, uh, keep, keep talking about me. Yeah, I'll show really. you how <laughs> passive I've become. Okay, dude. Ready? Yep. Goodbye. There he oh, goes. There, there. there he goes. That is so cool. It's, All right, it's... aftermath of the bite. That's his back jaw, and that was his front jaw. And hardly anything. Yeah. So, snake bites. They're not that bad. They're not bad at all. Okay, we just found another water snake. And this is where you're often gonna find them, is right over the water. It's too bad people leave so much trash around. Yeah. Let's see if Ed can catch it. I don't wanna catch it. Yeah, I got these, bit and musk done. A bit bitey and musky. You can do it. <laughs> well, he's just gonna let you pick him up. Oh, I got a nice one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really? Oh, hey buddy. Wow, he's gorgeous too. Oh. Oh, come down. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I don't know if that counts as catching him. I saw, oh, he must on me. <laughs> All right, so Emily's trying, oh, she made it. But there's a huge water snake right here. Aw. Hi, little dude. Holy cow, that is huge. That's gotta be a female. Yeah, probably. She looks like deflated though. I wonder if she needs a meal. She might have just had babies. Maybe. Wow. Holy cow. We'll leave her be because I don't want to. I don't want to stress her stress out. Stress her out. We've already got one water snake that we spent a lot of time with, but. Yeah, she looks so comfy. Wow. She is deflated. She might be older. She might be. Like she's got a point down a ridge. Yeah, she's a little down her spine, and she's a little deflated. She doesn't even care that we're looking at her. No. Yeah. So again, water, big water snake. Wow. She's so chill. Hi, little girl. Oh my gosh. Really? Is she right, even gonna... I'm tense and I'm not gonna do it anymore. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we won't pick you up. Yeah. We'll leave you be. Well, enjoy your basking spot. Well, we could not find a crayfish snake for the life of us, but we did see a lot of cool other species, including a lot of turtles, which makes sense because we are in a body of water. And we saw some amazing water snakes, including this big girl right behind me here. Let me know in the comments below which species you saw today was your favorite. And as always, thank you to our Patreon supporters for backing this channel. And to everybody who's just watching today. We love doing herping videos. We don't do them that often, but whenever we're somewhere new, we've got to see what we can find in the wild. So thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time.